everyone welcome to my channel so in the previous video we have completed what are data bindings in angular okay so from today onwards we will focus on what are directives in angular okay so let me just start with the definition first that what is directives okay so directives in angular are a typescript class okay which is declared with this decorator at the rate directive okay this directive helps us to manipulate the DOM elements. When I say DOM, we have this document object model. Okay, so whatever we have on your HTML file, so that we can manipulate with the help of this directive. And we will see in the demo like how exactly what actually when I say the manipulation of DOM. Okay, we will see in demo. And the there are basically three types of directive. Okay, so let's check the types of directive here. Okay, so here you can see we have these types of directive, and this is also called as a built-in directives which Angular provides. The first one is our component directive, the second is the structural directive, and the third one is the attribute directives. All right. So we when I say that component directive, we are already dealing with this. Okay. So whenever we create our new application, so we get this by default. Let me show you what actually I'm saying. So whenever we install our application, so we get this root component file. So there you can see we have this selector app root. Okay. So this basically belongs to a uh, component directives. Okay, which helps to render whatever we have your HTML inside this template or whatever we have it helps to render here. Okay, so we are already dealing with this component directives. All right. So now in this video, we're going to focus on what are structural directives. Okay, when you see in the structural directives, we have ng if, ng for, ng switch. All right. And in the next video, we will focus on what are attribute directives. Okay. So let me just open up my VS code and let's try to take a demo of ng if. Okay. So when I say ng if, so it tells that uh, it it will be something like a if condition. Okay. So it is pretty simple as the name suggests ng if. Okay. It it belongs to a if condition now. Whenever I want to show something on my DOM on my DOM element, let me just have a div here. Okay. And inside my div, I will have um I will have a h1 tag. And it says that welcome to let's program okay and what i want to do i want to just hide this let me just run this and let me just show you what what we can see on the browser okay so here you can see we will have our uh, welcome to let's program okay this h1 heading okay so what i'll do now i'll just put here a directive which is our structural directive uh, we make use of this asterisk okay to define that we are using a structural directive and we'll say ng if so when i say ng if is equals to false okay so now i'm saying and this is a conditional thing okay now this will uh, render on this condition if my condition is false which means it will not show this it will be it will hide this okay from my dom let's see let's see in the browser now it's loading now see it's get hidden okay so this was about ng if if at all i just say that condition is true if i make the condition is true now it will be shown on the browser okay welcome to let's program okay so this is what about this is this was just a simple demo of like what is ng if in angular okay so this ng if so what we can do here is we can create some conditions here okay on our what we say on our ts file i can say that show boolean it will be of type boolean i have i have this property show and the initial value is false okay so whenever i say that suppose i want to bind this condition to this so what i'll do i'll just copy this property name i'll just bind it here and i say ng if show so what is the value of the show it is currently false so what we what we are expecting then then it will hide this particular h1 h1 tag okay let me just save it and let's check on the browser what we see it's running see it is getting hidden why because our condition is false okay this is very straightforward this ng if it just uh, it, it will just hide and show based on this condition okay, if i make this con condition as true at that time it will render on your browser if i just make it true Let's see. Yeah, we can see this. Now we can run this welcome to let's program. All right. So this was all about what NJF is. Okay. So let me just try to, uh, let me just uh, tell you about NG4 now. So what does a NG4 do? So as the name suggests for, uh, we have uh, like 
we, we have dealt with for loops and all that. So this is basically looping your va value. Suppose if I have a, a record, an employee record, let me just put an employee record now. Let me create a property I call it employee. And inside my employee, I will have some, some data, some array of objects. So what I'll just say, I'll just have an ID to my employee. Okay. So employee will have a name. Employee will have a salary. and gender okay in the same way let me create two more all right so i have this uh, a property employee okay uh, with this property employee I have, I have this three objects inside it okay i have this employee one two and three okay with the name as john Eric and Elena. So what I want to do, I want to display all this name on my HTML. Okay, so let me just comment this for now. And let me just have a h1 tag. Okay, so what I'll do, I want to loop this value. So what I'll do, I'll have a ul tag. I want to display the list of the value and I have L1. If suppose I want to display it uh, manually, so what I'll do, I'll just go ahead and just type all the names just like this. I'll say John. In the same way, I'll just copy this thing. Okay, I'll just copy this LI two times and I'll say here Eric. And I'll write here Elena. Okay. So let me just check on the browser. And let me just try to explain you guys. Okay, so here you can see this is example for ng4. So here you can see I want to display this is what my requirement is. Okay, so but what I want to do, I don't want to type all the static terms, whatever the data which is there inside this employee array, I want to display all the name from this. So what I can do, I can loop this data by using this directive, which is called as ng4. Okay, so what I'll do here is I'll just have this asterisk again, because I'm using structural directive, I have this asterisk, and I say ng for okay and what i'll do i'll just loop with this value so what i'll say let emp of employee so this employee which, which i have written here this employee is coming from this this property name this belongs to this property so this property name should match this okay so i'll say that let emp of this employee okay so now what I'll say here is I'll just remove all this thing. So that because we are looping right now, so I can loop all my list by just saying that emp dot name. Let me save it. Let me save it here as well because it will throw an error. You can see compile successful. Let's check on the browser now. See, I can see the same thing here. So what I did here is I just looped all the data which was there inside my employee array. So in the same way, uh, what you can do here is you can display other names as well. Like uh, you can have a label here by saying name. I can say that label and I can say the label as name. Okay. In the same way, what you can do, you can also have a label. You can say comma, you can say label and you can have a label name as a salary. And you can do what you can do is you can just loop that data with this, but just by saying emp dot salary. Let's save it and let's check on the browser. Here you can see I have this name and I have this salary now. Let me just format a bit. Okay, and let me just have a. I'll better have a break tag here. Okay. Now you can see I'm looping this value. The name of employee is John and the salary is 50k. The name is Eric and the salary is 90. In the same way, the name is of the employee is Elena and the salary is this much. All right. So in this way, what you can do, you can loop all your data with this. All right. So this helps, this ng4 helps in looping all your values so that you can display. So this basically helps to manipulate your DOM. Okay. We don't need to write all the static values. We can loop this data from here. Okay, so this was an example for ng4.
all right so let me just take up one more example here let me just mix up things here and just try to explain you okay i'll just now mix these two examples for ngf and ng4 so let me just take have a h1 tag okay example number two so what i'll do now is so what my requirement is i want to display uh if suppose there is the list is zero okay if the list is not if the list is empty i want to so uh, i want to say that employee list is empty okay so how, how can i do that let's let's try to check it okay so let me just have hr just to divide it and what i'll say now is i'll have a, a div tag and inside it i will have one h2 sorry okay so what i'll say is list is empty employee list is empty okay what i want to do when when my list is empty i want to display this so, but this but, but this thing will be conditional right so what i'll do here is i'll say star ng if because i want to show it in condition if my employee dot length is equal to equal to zero okay if my length is equal to equal to zero so at that time display this employee list is empty okay and this employee is again coming from here i'll just saying that this employee is a property which i have created here okay so currently what you can see the employee list uh, dot length is equals to three okay so what do you think so what will the value of this okay so this value will be false so this will not show let me just save it and let me just check on the browser what i see so you can see i can just only see example number two i can just see this much but i am not able to see this why because i have my employee length as three let me just remove all these values let me just remove all this let me comment this value okay let me save it and also let me just try to uh, console this value okay let me just make use of ng on in it i'll say console console dot log employee i'll say this dot employee dot length let me save it let me go back to my browser now you can see it says that employee list is empty do you know why because now my employee list dot length is equals to zero now this condition satisfies so now the my ng if value is true right now if the value is true so that time it will display let me just show you my console where i have that uh, written there okay so when you go on my console there you can see let me just refresh this page you can see the value is zero the length value is zero let me just add something here so that it looks very clear okay let me save and check now you can see the employee length is zero so because the employee length is zero this value is satisfied so it returns true and this list so now this h2 is been shown to us okay so let me just remove it now let me just remove all these comments and just save it and now let's go to the browser and check now you can see the employee length is three and and we don't see that now okay so now the value is so now this value returns false because the employee list is equals to three okay so because of this false condition so i'm not able to see this h2 tag h2 which is written as employee list is empty okay so now what i'll do here is i'll i'll make sure that now there is one more condition now there is one more requirement now what i want to do here you can see i have a male employee and i'll have a female employee this elena is female okay so what i'll do uh, i want to divide this into two different list so how can i do it so let's check that okay so what i'll do here is okay i'll have a div tag okay i'll just first have h3 and which says that this is my male employee okay and below that i will have a ul okay and inside it i will have my li 
So what I'll say that I will loop with all these values. Okay, I will try to loop because uh, I have list. So for uh, displaying the list, I need, need to make use of this ng for because I have a list value. So I'll say ng for. Okay, uh, what is uh, what is the step to do it? We say let emp of and this of after of we, we need to have this property name the the list which we have okay which we have created so we will have this property name let emp of employee okay so what i want to display i want to display the names okay i want to display names of the employee i'll say emp dot name okay so here you can see emp dot name so now but there is a condition what i said that what uh, if my employee if my employee is male so it should show into my mail list okay this mail employee list mail employee list in the same way i will have one more list okay let me just copy all this thing let me paste it here and i'll say female employee list okay so now there is a condition that if the gender is male at that time it, sh it should show the only male employee list. so what i'll do here is i'll just say star asterisk ng if okay and what will be the condition if my emp dot gender is equal to equal to male so at that time it will display this name display the name okay so let me just do it for this uh, female list as well let me just copy this ng if condition let me paste it here to this list so what I say if ng if, if my gender is equal to equal to female, so at that time display this. Let me save it. Let me check on the browser. Let me just cancel this. So now you can see inside my male employee list, I can see John and Eric, and in my female employee list, I can see Alina. If at all, I just go here and just increase one more list. Okay, and let me just save one more and I say Andrea. Okay, and the gender is female. So what I'm expecting here is I'm expecting Andrea to be also displayed in the female list. So let's save it and let's check on the browser what we get. Here you can see Andrea is also is shown inside this female list, female employee list. All right. So this was basically a quick demo for this structural directives in Angular. So currently we have covered ng if and ng for. Okay. So in the next session, we will be having a demo for ng switch. All right. So yeah, till that time, bye bye and keep learning.